Salah or Salah, Arabic, Sal Salah, pious, is a prophet of pre-Islamic Arabia mentioned in the Quran who prophesied to the tribe of Thamud. The story of Salah is linked to the story of the she-camel of God, which was the gift given by God to the people of Thamud when they desired a miracle to confirm that Salah was truly a prophet. Topic: <laughs> Historical context. The Thamud were a tribal confederation in the northwestern region of Arabia, mentioned in Assyrian sources in the time of Sargon II. The tribe's name continues to appear in documents into the 4th century AD, but by the 6th century they were regarded as a group that had vanished long ago. According to the Quran, the city that Salah was sent to was called Al Hijr, which corresponds to the Nabataean city of Hegra. The city rose to prominence around the 1st century AD as an important site in the regional caravan trade. Adjacent to the city were large, decorated rock-cut tombs used by members of various religious groups. At an unknown point in pre-Islamic times, the site was abandoned and possibly functionally replaced by Al-Ula. The site has been referred to as Madain Salah since the rise of Islam, named after the Prophet. The Prophet Salah is not mentioned in any other Abrahamic scripture or contemporary historical text, but the account of Thamud's destruction may have been well known in pre-Islamic Arabia. The tribe's name is used in pre-Islamic poetry as a metaphor for the transience of all things. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Narrative in the Quran. Salah's life in his community had been so righteous that the people of Thamud virtually relied upon him for support. He was chosen by God as a prophet and sent preach against the selfishness of the wealthy and to condemn the practice of idolatry. Although Salah preached the message for a sustained period of time, the people for Thamud refused to hear his warning and instead began to ask Salah to perform a miracle for them. Salah reminded his people of the countless castles and palaces they built out of stone, and of their technological superiority over neighboring communities. Furthermore, he told them about their ancestors, the Ad tribe, and how they too were destroyed for their sins. Some of the people of Thamud believed Salah's words, but the tribal leaders refused to listen to him and continued to demand that he demonstrate a miracle to prove his prophethood. In response, God gave the Thamud a blessed she camel, as both a means of sustenance and a test. The tribe was told to allow the camel to graze peacefully and avoid harming her. But in defiance of Salah's warning, the people of the tribe hamstrung the camel. Salah informed them that they had only three more days to live before the wrath of God descended upon them. The people of the city were remorseful, but their crime could not be undone, and all the disbelieving people in the city were killed in an earthquake. Al-Hijr was rendered uninhabited and remained in ruins for all time thereafter. Salah himself and the few believers who followed him survived. In the version of the story told in Surat and Naml, the she camel is not mentioned. Instead, it states that nine men plotted to kill Salah himself, a crime for which they were struck down by God. In Islamic tradition Muslim writers have elaborated upon the story of Salah and the she-camel. Early Islamic tradition often involved a motif of the camel miraculously emerging from stone, often accompanied by a calf, and the production of milk from the camel. Al-Tabari states that Salah summoned his people to a mountain, where they witnessed the rock miraculously split open, revealing the camel. The she-camel had a young calf. Salah informed the Thamud that the older camel was to drink from their water source on one day, and they were to drink from it the next day. On days when they were not allowed to drink water, the camel provided them with milk. But God informed Salah that a boy who would hamstring the camel would soon be born to the tribe, and that child was evil and grew unnaturally fast. The camel was indeed killed, and its calf cried out three times, signaling that the Thamud would be destroyed in three days. Their faces turned yellow, then red, then black, and they died on the third day as predicted. A similar tradition is related in an 8th century commentary on Islam by John of Damascus and is also mentioned in the works of Ibn Kathir. In Baha'i The founder of the Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah, briefly mentioned the story of the hamstrung she camel in the Law'i Burhan, and commented also upon Salah's ministry in the Kitab i Icon. See also Biblical and Quranic narratives, 
List of notable Hijazis Prophets and Messengers in Islam Qizas al-Anbiya References <references>